All right, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Live application. And in this video, we'll be working on uploading user profile image. So first of all, let me show you the demo of what we are going to build. So, so you see that the image, the uploaded image over here. And if we click on Add New User, and let me write some domain information. So, password, password. And if I click, if I browse and choose the image and then click on save you see that this name got changed dynamically and if i click on save the image is finally successfully uploaded so let's get started on building this feature okay first of all let's add choose file input over here so let me go to admin lt and on forms general elements uh, let me go to the end and let's use this one okay let me copy the code and let me copy it and let me go to list users dot blade psv file and at the end let me go after password confirm password okay and let me paste that code let's indent it okay and then let me uncomment it and let's say profile put over here profile photo okay so now let's do wire model and let's do photo and let's add this public property on our list users component class so let me add a public property called photo okay now if I uh, refresh the page and click on add new users we see this beautiful browse input and if we click on browse and choose one image and it is saying cannot handle file uploads without this trait okay so let's use this trait and over here let's use this trait and let's import the namespacing for this okay and uh, if i try it again choose file click on save now we don't see get that error message and if we go to stories app and then oh, let me try it again let me press the page and a new user click on browse click select image and then if i go to stories app and we see this folder edit called library term and file and the image is already uploaded on our temporary directory okay perfect so now the next step is to display the name over here when we choose the image if we choose this image and we see this choose file over here let's change this to the dynamic name of the file okay so let me go to list users .plat file and over here let's add a conditional so we can do if there is photo then we can do photo get client original name else let's do choose image and and if now let me try it again t saying choose image click on browse we click on this image and the name got changed perfect so now uh, let's upload this image while clicking the save button over here so to do that let me go to list users and after while create creating the user before creating the user we can do if there is photo then we can do validated data and the name of the field let's say avatar that we will add that field and let's do this photo store in the root directory of avatar dex okay we haven't added that dex as well this configuration as well so now let's try and see what we will get click on let's do Let's refresh add new user and then let's add the name email password 
and if we choose the image this one and then click on save and it is saying the disk of others doesn't have a configured driver so let's add that configuration so let me go to config file systems and then let me copy this one and after this one let's do the configurations for the disk of others the driver is local red directory is app public slash avatars and the url is storage slash avatars also let's add the configuration for the symbolic for generating the symbolic link as well so let me copy this one and the public path is storage slash avatars and the storage path is app public slash avatars okay so now let me do PSP audition config yes and then let me try it again a new user and choose image click on save and it is saved but actually we don't have that field on the database so let's create that field so let me go to terminal and do PSP audition uh, make me a migration called aid with our field to users table but before that let me show you that the image is already uploaded on our storage a uh, public avatars directory say this perfect so let me go to aid avatars field to users table and let's do table the spring avatar let's make it nullable okay on on down method let's do table drop column avatar and then let's form the migration PSV artisan migrate and it is migrated and if we refresh over here and we see that field added also let's go to user.play.psv file and let's add that field one fillable area as well avatar and let's try it again here every every value are null so let me refresh the page and new user okay and profile photo okay click on save and i think everything is fine so let me refresh the page and let me go to the end and these bigger the image path perfect also the image got uploaded as well so now the thing remaining is to display the image over here so let's do that let's use this and let me go over here over here and We'll display the image before the name so let's do image and the source will be stories and the disk is avatars and get the get the URL for this path path is user and the avatar so let's add a style with the width of 50 pixel let me refresh the page and we don't see the image let me inspect it and see what we are getting here and we are getting the path but image is not displayed so we need to do psp artisan storage link and the storage is linked successfully so if I refresh the page and it is displaying the image perfect so let's do let's add a class 
so image image circle okay also let's add margin right two let's do one okay perfect so also let's display the default image as well so instead of writing the code over here let's do okay user avatar url okay so let me go to user.pspp model and let's create that accessor let's do get avatar url attribute and then let's paste it and we can write some conditional over here as well so if uh, there is the photo then let's return this one return storage disk avatar instead of using this avatar otherwise written no say asset no image.png and we don't have this no image.png inside of public so let me go to okay let me go to desktop and copy this image and paste it on public directory so now let me refresh the page and see yep everything is working but no, here we have the image loaded but we see no image available so let's see and fix instead of photo we need to do avatar and it is saying app models store is not found so let's import the name spacing okay and then let me refresh the page and we are fine so now we are done so let me give you one tax so now if i click on edit and we don't see the image preview as well and if we browse the image and just choose the next one and click on save and the image is not changed as well so your tax is to add this functionality and let me know in the comment sections when you are done and if you got any error as well if you got any issue as well so this much for this video i hope you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and i will see you on the next video mm.